What's the largest a canine could realistically get? Giant dogs aren't uncommon in works of fantasy. See from Dark Souls comes to mind. Enter image description here. What I want to know is, what's the largest a canine could realistically get, what differences would they need compared to regular dogs in order to function, and what evolutionary pressures would lead a group of canids to evolve to such large sizes. Note, magic does not exist in my story. Cave bears ran significantly larger than modern polar bears, Kodiak, Alaskan brown bears, or grizzly, and were active predators, though not pack animals like wolves. The short face bear was even larger. Wolves, however, don't need to be big, because they hunt cooperatively. Where it takes a single animal about the size of a grizzly to predate on caribou never mind the extinct megafauna of the last ice age, a small pack of wolves, anywhere from eight to a dozen, can corner and pull down even moose and bison. This is why wolves have never evolved to be much larger than the largest modern timber wolves, around 60 kilograms body weight that's the size of a maximum well-conformed Rottweiler, still not a small animal. The Ice Age dire wolf was only this size, though its dentition and bite strength were more suited for larger prey than the timber wolf. If you evolve a wolf much larger than this, say 100 plus kilogram, you start to turn it into a bear, an omnivorous, opportunistic feeder and capable, but likely lazy single predator that would prefer to feed on found meat such as the leftover carcass of a wolf pack's kill to supplement its diet than to pull down a large animal like wapiti, caribou, or moose for itself. Now, if you allow for domestication and subsequent selective breeding, you give up the natural pack structure in favor of individual animals treating humans as their pack, and if bred for size, dogs can get a good bit bigger than wolves. The Irish wolfhound is tall, despite its name, I'm told it was originally bred to hunt red deer, which were as big as the American moose. The Tibetan Mastiff, however, is heavier than the Irish Wolfhound, up to 85 kg, while the English Mastiff and Caucasian Shepherd can run above 100 kg. These are dogs, still with the behaviors of wolf-derived domestic dogs, that weigh as much as a small example of an American black bear. They wouldn't be very viable in the wild, however, Mastiffs in general tend to be loner dogs bred for specific behaviors many Mastiff breeds are dog aggressive and couldn't effectively form packs, also, large dog breeds tend to have shorter lives than smaller breeds, which limits their breeding period, and are prone to bone and joint problems that would further limit their lifespan if they were forced to hunt for their food. Some of these very large breeds were intentionally bred for size over a couple centuries, so we might reasonably presume that the upper limit for a viable dog is around 110 kg before they encounter so many size-related problems to make them useless as working animals never mind predators.